ladies and gentlemen, Cheeseburger. Bow, 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 bow. It's such a vibrant thing. Bow, 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 bow. It's such a vibrant thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming. It's a big night for me tonight. As of this morning, I officially depleted all 10,530 of my unemployment benefit dollars. <laughs> the government, they gave me 26 weeks. Said, Here's 26 weeks, make it last. Find something you want to do, find a job. 26 weeks go by, haven't found a job, I have no idea what I want to do. Wait, I'm going to listen. <laughs> Big news, ladies and gentlemen. As of later this morning, I was just informed by the U.S. government that I begin collecting $4,860 of my unemployment emergency compensation. Let me thank the Senate. Bow, bow. Let me thank the House. Hey, where's my black buddy from earlier? Obama! Obama! Wait, wait. I know what you're thinking right there. Look at this clowny ass motherfucker. He's just standing around collecting checks. I'm working my ass off. I have a job. I'm trying to build a career here, and this guy's just running around and thinks it's ha ha hilarious. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on his face when that gravy boat with biscuit wheels that he's driving gets sideswiped by your motherfucking tractor trailer we call reality. <laughs> All right, fine. It's really not that funny. I'm kind of scared. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a little, I'm a little afraid. I'm trying to keep it real with you guys. I mean, I wanted to be an astronaut. You know, I want to go blast off, shoot through the stars, hang out on the moon, freestyle with the Martian. Mysterious chances, open glances, crawling out my brain. My, my mind in the wah, wah, And then I found out there's this thing called arithmetic. <laughs> SATs? SATs, fuck, please. X to the Y plus Z to the seventh power in the parentheses with the fraction lines. High school, man, I just did lines. <laughs> and smoked a lot of weed. And the bitches, man. Fucked a lot of bitches. <laughs> Fuck the bitches, man. I'm clean, by the way. <laughs> Mickey from Rocky, trainer man. He was right. Women, weak in the knees. But then, no, oh, well, I gotta check out my boys Uncle Pete and Papa Wu from Wu-Tang Clan. And they're like, behind every strong man, you'll find a strong woman. Then you got my mom saying, hey, Cheesy, you need to marry a doctor. You don't take care of yourself. Maybe they'll invent a cure for laziness. <laughs> She's kind of on to something. If some people say, I have a reckless lifestyle. I'm always starting shit. Yeah, so what? Fine. I had facial reconstructive surgery on the left side of my face, stemming from an argument over the location of a cat's litter box. <laughs> but that guy was crazy. All right, all right, are there any, are there any uh, doctors in the house tonight? No, any female doctors? Any hot female doctors? All right, I'll, I'll hope you get in touch with me. There's just, there's one serious thing I'm trying to find a cure for. It was my junior summer school session up at college. Summer school? NASA? The playoffs? Playoffs? Space program? Yeah, it was his summer school and I was kicking some major ass. Perfect attendance. Last class. All I gotta do now is write a 12 page paper. Hadn't started it, it's due the next day. No big deal, no big deal. We have a final the next day too. And I just found the book that I bought, pulled it out of the shrink wrap, 
but it's like, it's like fucking two girls the same night with a single condom. There's no jealousy. They're friends. It's the same subject. You know, you pull out of one, you go back into the other, you're still getting it accomplished. You'll be ready. So, in the middle of class, we would get a break, and I would go skateboard back over to my dormitory, and I would have my juice and carrot snake bread. Well, this particular day, I would always ride on the same route, and it would take me around this huge hill that would dump into a giant parking lot, and it was a blind curve. But I scout the territory, and it's always wide open. I mean, it's summertime. Everyone's, you know, getting real with the situation on the Jersey Shore. I mean, there's no one hanging out on campus. This particular day, I'm coming around 20 miles an hour around this bend. And what do I find but 350 little ladies from basketball camp marching their way through the whole parking lot on their way to the cafeteria on the other side of campus. Now, don't worry, I'm a professional here. I immediately scout the whole territory, and there's a lane right against the curb. Oh, I can hit that no problem, except there is no problem. I mean, my school's in the mountains, and in the wintertime, all the salt in the sand that they use to make the roads a little bit safer is now hugging the curb, so that's not going to work. And I can't just jump off the board. I'm flying 20 miles an hour here. There's no, oh, oh, let's just try this again. Oh, oh, one, more, one more lap. Last objective. Ladies, ladies, move to the left. Move to the left. All the girls look to the right, seeing the open lane. They don't see the sand. Oh, you're not supposed to be on campus. No skateboards allowed. Bad boy, bad boy. Well, I hit the sand. Oh, yeah, and I go flying airborne, like MJ style. Except I'm going backwards. Oh, and bam, head cracks right against the ground. I was out cold. You know I met God. I talked to God. True. The rumors. Yeah, I... He speaks Spanish. <laughs> and he said to me, Usted es el gran queso. And he cast me back into my body. And I wake up, and I, and I see the ambulance. I see the medics going. And I'm in what we call right now animal instincts mode, which is do what you got to do to get to where you got to get. And I hear all the professionals telling me, cheeseburger, your head is cracked wide open. You're bleeding from the skull, and your brains are on the ground. In my mind, I hear, we have a 12-page paper we got to write. We have a test we have to study for. I'll just wrap myself in a towel. I got to get back to class. Peace out. Thanks for the help. So I get to class. You know that moment when you open the door covered in blood, literally showing your brains hey, 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 to everybody else? Look what, look what I got. That's dedication. <laughs> People say I was never the same after that day. But that was how I lost my sense of smell. So you doctors out there, sexy ladies, give me a call. <laughs> we used to have a, I used to have an ex-girlfriend and we lying in bed. And uh, just when I'm about to like, uh, get romantic with her, she'd say, Cheesy, I've been Dutch ovening this thing for the last 30 minutes, and you have absolutely no idea, because you have no smell. <laughs> please help me. Miracle lady, please find me. Guys, thank you so much. I love you all. I'm about to hit the road. If anything should happen to me, if I die, I want to be cremated, no funeral, no wake. No, no. Just connect me to the United States Armed Services, take my ashes, mix it in with the bomb, drop me on North Korea. Amen. Go USA. Yeah.